We've all done it. We've all had trouble learning to tell time at one point or another. The problem is that confusing our hand. Because as it's moving slowly between the numbers, we don't really see it. And as it gets closer to the next hour, it starts to point at the next number. For instance, right now, looking at this clock, at one point in our lives, even all the smart adults you know, your parents and teachers and the President of the United States, we would all look at that and say that it was 435 because the hour hand is pointing to the 4 and the minute hand was on the 7. That's 35 minutes. We would have all said at one point probably that it was 407 too because we've made that mistake. But really, it was only 335. But with the magic of being able to speed up video, we're going to make it so we can watch what happens as that hour hand moves. So it's already going fast. I'm going to make it go a little faster. So here it is, 4 o'clock. The minute hand, the long one, is on the 12. And the short one, the hour hand, is on the 4. So while we have a little time, let's just talk about what 4 o'clock means. At 12 midnight and 12 noon, both hands are straight up at the 12. 4 o'clock means that it's 4 hours after noon or after midnight, depending on which 12 that it just passed. Now, it's 5 minutes after 4. That minute hand is on the 1. We count by 5s. Six minutes after. Seven minutes. As the second hand goes around every 60 seconds, the minute hand points at the next minute. If you count them in between the big black squares, there are five minutes. That's why we count by fives. Now it's 10 after 4. So it's 10 minutes after the hour of 4, which is 4 hours after 12. So as that keeps going on, as time keeps going, right? it's after 4. There it's 13 minutes after 4. The hour hand now is moving. It's not quite pointing at the 4 anymore because the gears inside make it move and it moves slower than the minute hand which moves slower than the second hand and when those gears move it when that minute hand gets back all the way around to the 12 the hour hand will be pointing at the next hour you can really see this movement when we speed it up even faster so now it's 4:30. it's half past four it's been a half hour since it was four o'clock and the hour hand is about halfway between the four and the five the minute hand is now gonna start moving up and getting closer and closer to the next hour and as it does that the hour hand gets closer and closer to the five and not the four but it's still within that hour of four o'clock here we are now at 435 when we started this video it was 335 and it was almost it was starting to point at the 4 and that's what gave us our confusion now it's starting to point at the 5 and when it starts pointing at the number that's when kids get confused and say that it's 5 because the hour hand if you draw a line it's starting to touch the 5 but where is the five o'clock? Where is the dot for the five? It's that big square and it's not there yet. An hour is 60 minutes. So it hasn't been 60 minutes since four o'clock. Right now it's only been 40 minutes. So even though that hour hand is touching the five, 
it's not quite five o'clock so it's still within that four o'clock hour does that make sense now so let's practice saying these next times on the numbers so we'll start when it gets to the nine and the nine is 45 so it will be 4 45 45 minutes after 4 o'clock here we go 445 and look the hour hand is pointing at the five but it hasn't been a whole hour here comes the next one 450 and the next one 455 so even though the hour hand is pointing even at the square under the five it has only been 57 minutes past four o'clock so it still hasn't been 60 minutes it has to be a whole hour there's 58 minutes it's still not five o'clock it's four minutes and 59 minutes 59 minutes after four and finally we get to five o'clock so this should help you now to not make that mistake anymore and not be confused by the hour hand it has to be 60 minutes before you can say the next hour